have a special exclusive interview with Miss Lloyda Lewis, who is, as we know, one of the biggest advocates for getting Filipino Americans civically engaged. So, Miss Lloyda Lewis, um, what is your message to the overseas uh, workers, overseas Phil um to get involved in uh, the upcoming elections that are happening? Yes. May 2016 May is the national election for president, vice president, and senators. Okay. And so we overseas Filipinos have the right to vote and give our choice on who would, who we like to come to succeed President Noy Noy. Mm -hmm. And the deadline for registration is October 31. It's coming up so close. Yes, unfortunately, that's the story. Yes. So you have to come with your valid Filipino passport. Okay. If you are not, if you're no longer a Filipino, meaning you say you were naturalized when you were here, mm -hmm. then you have to get back your Filipino citizenship. Yes. And that might take some time. Yes. So I urge everyone to just go and call the Philippine consulate, go and ask them what are needed in order to register and vote. Yes, you could actually reacquire or you could um, report your birth um, if one of your parents, uh, one or both of your parents are Filipino American citizens by the time you were born. That's right. Exactly. And that's something that not many people know. And actually, you could enter with all your documents at the Philippine consulate um, before 12 p.m. and come out by 4 p.m. Doing your uh, swearing. That's why you did. That's and what that's I did. Wonderful. That's, that's great. So yes. I'm a dual citizen and I'm going to be right We are all